do know the frustration of trying to hit a button on one of these phones. Interesting point. Uh, very interesting point, actually. Call to action on the buttons. Welcome is not a headline. Um, then uh, benefits of upgrade not really clear. And uh, try for 30 days. And why should I upgrade? And make the button text more action oriented. Okay, I'm listening to the audience, and I'm gonna I'm gonna drill down on this. We want to continue to do our research in mobile apps. We have a benchmark guide coming out, just for the mobile. Uh, you know, application and mobile industry, and we are doing a lot of research about mobile and optimization. So let's look at this. Welcome to Quick Office. I can see why you said that because this is the first time they've opened the screen. It says your Android device came pre-installed with a version of Quick Office that provides mobile office productivity. It's yours to use for free forever. Perfect. I'm taking it. I yeah. It's so perfect. So so Zusha says, great. Thank you very much. Well, I have to move on free? now. Okay. No reason. <laughs> And, uh, and then it says upgrade to Pro Now and save 25%. Uh, I want to tell you that at this present moment, you've lost all clarity. You just told me it's free, and I know why you did that. You don't want to disappoint me. You don't want it to feel like bait and switch. Somebody in the design by committee that produces a page like this pointed out accurately that we don't want to anger customers now. I mean, was it worthless or does it actually have value? So you've, you've done something, but then you move immediately to the upgrade, and the upgrade is within the same font size as the welcome. And it says to me that this is all about getting you to this point, and then I get to save 25%. On what? I don't see a price. Why in the blankety blank, that's, when you see me talk that way, it's because I'm trying to feel how a customer feels. We're so frustrated with confusing messages. Aren't you frustrated? With, with, uh, don't you hate when you buy a computer or a phone and they're popping stuff up in front of you and you can't figure out whether you really need to buy this and there's upgrades here and upgrades there and you feel like you're being sold every time you turn around? Now, uh, Jeremy, I'm on your side. But for a moment, to optimize, I have to see with the eyes of the customer and the customer's frustrated. He's in a hurry or she's in a hurry. They don't have time. And now you promise me to save 25%. Jeremy, it's meaningless. 25% on what? And what will Pro do? that I can't get with the other one. Are you saying what I thought I just got is no good? And then it says sync, edit, share, and connect. Does that mean I can't do that? It probably is what you're trying to say, but see, if there was, if there was a message here, and by the way, I'd be questioning whether or not the first time they open, you want to ask for the upgrade. But if that is when you want to ask for the upgrade, you need something here that clearly helps me see the difference and gives me a reason why. Then look, it says Android Market and QuickOffice.com. I don't even know what those buttons mean. I don't know if one of those takes me to an update or it doesn't take me to an update or an upgrade. I don't even know what, what do I click if I don't want to get an upgrade. One of the button, the top one, the bottom one. Listen, all of this hinges on a value proposition. Why do people say yes? Because they perceive that the value outweighs the cost. Here there's no way to estimate the value and all I see is cost. I don't see savings because it was free to start with. So saving 25% tells me that there's a cost. And the question I really have is, do the version that come on my phone have any value at all or is it totally worthless? And do I have to go through all this trouble to figure that out? Um, and the why that I get this notification is the same size as the other two messages. And frankly, people aren't going to read the paragraph. They're going to think that very point. Why in the world did I get this notification? What a waste of time. Again, Jeremy, I'm saying this to you because I'm taking on the persona of your, of your frustrated, busy customer or prospect. I don't, I don't mean to be uh, mean to you, but the two most important words in marketing are these, so friggin' what? And if, I know that's three words, Paul, but <laughs> normally I say so what, but so what didn't quite carry this, the, 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 the venom that I mean it to carry with. Every time you put this a message, ask yourself, so what? Because that's how the customer's thinking, so what? And until this overcomes the so what test, it's going to have a uh, really bad conversion. Uh, Jeremy, we might be able to help you with this. Contact us if we can. But please know that I say all this in a spirit of trying to uh, make this uh, more effective for you.